Raleigh police are searching for a motive behind a shooting that sent two people to the hospital. It happened at an apartment complex on Briarmont Court. This is police radio traffic from the scene. We get emails around. We got one male, uh, unconscious, ineffective breathing. He's got one GSW to his uh, left abdomen. We got another female saying she shot under injuries. WRL Sean Gallagher is at the scene and just spoke with witnesses at a nearby school. Sean. Yeah, Renee, so right here behind me is where they're investigating. It looks like a lot of townhomes that are here in the Walnut Creek neighborhood. But like you said, let me show you just how close this is to a Montessori school, just a tree line separating where this shooting was and where this school was, where there were at least a dozen kids there earlier this morning. Now, the shooting appears to have happened in this complex we're talking about, where police are right now still investigating. They say they do have a suspect in custody and that there's no threat to the public at the moment. But Raleigh police tell us the shooting happened just before 10 a.m. here at Brian. Firemont Court. They say a man and woman were shot and taken to the hospital with serious injuries. They took one person into custody and believe there is a relationship between these three people. And while there's no threat to the public, there is that Montessori school directly next to this development. And the owner there tells me they did not receive a call from the police about this shooting, taking it on themselves to put the kids in lockdown. It's extremely concerning it's because it's right behind the school. It's literally right behind the school, and we were going to go outside. So I think um, as a licensed child care provider, it would have been nice to be notified. So I did reach out to RPD for comment on this. They tell me if they are in a position to comment or to contact a school that's within the vicinity of a crime scene, they will do so. But those decisions are handled by the officers who are on scene. They did add that they eventually did make contact with the school to let them know the latest information. Sean Gallagher, WRAL News, Raleigh.